May I come in, sir? Please come, just please. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. So, just been there. Uh, yeah. Tell us uh, about yourself, your academic qualifications, yes, your uh, work experience, if any, and your main hobbies. Sir, I am just been there saying, uh, I belong to village uh, of district uh, Muxasai from Punjab, and I have uh, done my schooling from Muxasai itself, and uh, I have done my graduation in law, that is BA LLB honors from Punjab University, Chandigarh. And uh, uh, later on, after my graduation, I started preparing for civil services. And uh, my hobbies are Pangada, skipping. And I also like to paint and reading Gurbani and then writing Punjabi poetry, sir. Good. So tell me, Jaspinder, you are from Punjab. Yes, sir. The, the new government of Punjab initially, you know, announced free power of 300 units or something. Then to the farmers who, you know, had to pay back agricultural loan, there was some action taken against them, the warrants were issued, they were withdrawn. Yes, sir. Financial situation in Punjab is not so good. Now, do you think uh, for any state governance, these freebies, whether Punjab or any other state, is a good idea to lure the, you know, people or do you think it's a part of policy decision? for which they are competent and eligible to take. So when we talk about freebies, so uh, they are, uh, I, can, I see them from the two angles. Uh, one, uh, they are the methods of social empowerment in the society. And uh, secondly, yes, political parties, they come up with the promises before the polls. And sir, if the political party is having the courage to collect the revenue, then the, those freebies, if the revenue is sufficient, sir, then they can be given as a method of social empowerment. Now, keeping in mind the situation of Punjab, sir, uh, as uh, uh, the government, it has promised 300 units. So, uh, uh, as uh, they, are, they are out with the policy as well. So, when we look at the policy, it is not that the 300 units of each and every family has been uh, waived off. It is, uh, it is a kind of policy where uh, where those who are using above 300 units, they, they have to pay for the entire units, even from 0 to 300, they are going to pay. So, such uh, policies, if they are rationalized and if they are empowering the society or if they are empowering the society, especially those who are at the lower rung of the society, sir, then they, these are welcome, sir. And yes, they must be rationalized, sir. Uh, as I see from your dev, Jaspinder, you had participated in the moot court and had been, you know, had got some prize also there. Yes, sir. Right? What was the topic of the moot court uh, discussion? Yes, sir. Sir, I have participated in various moot court competitions. No, yes, the national one that you took part in. Yes, sir. Sir, it, uh, it was uh, fiscal federalism, sir. Okay, now I give you a topic. Yes, sir. And you have to speak uh, against one nation, one election. Fine, sir. You speak uh, as a lawyer that you are not in favor of one nation. Right? Why? Fine, sir. Uh, sir, can I get a few seconds yes, for please, preparing? Please. Uh, Thank you, sir. <coughs> may I start? Sir? Yeah, please. Uh, sir, I assume you as a court, sir. Do anything. You just give reasonings. Yes, sir. You address properly. Fine, sir. It's a quote. It's a quote, sir. Okay. But be brief. We yeah. we don't have enough time. Uh, Your Honor, uh, the council is here to make the humble submission with respect to the one nation, one election policies. Your Honor. Your Honor, in this case, what is there that uh, the government is coming up with this proposal and uh, the, the, the council is against the proposal on the basis of the uh, grounds that, first of all, uh, there must be uh, uh, federalism is a part of basic structure of the constitution. And uh, as it was held in uh, SR Bombay versus Union of India in 1993, and uh, when we talk about uh, one nation, one election, it somehow uh, demar, uh, debars or it somehow is a is a, is a is a policy towards the centralization of the election el electoral uh, system of our country sir and here it is somehow against the federal policy or uh, where the 
and also uh, your honor as it was held in the case of kuldeep nayar versus union of india in 2006 Uh, that free and fair elections are the part of uh, basic structure again of the constitution sir and here when there will be uh, election in the one who, one go in the entire country your honor the the people of the state will be uh, polling keeping in mind the center or the people in the uh, uh, of the state will be polling keeping in mind the state your honor and that will be going to affect their uh, polling uh, methodology and uh, which will which 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 is not truly uh, for the uh, for the spirit of electoral politics uh, your honor and here the federalism and the democracy must be kept in the mind while deciding and also your honor when we look at uh, uh, the go government's uh, tenure your honor and uh, parliamentary form of system of our government your honor here what is done that uh, if a uh, if if a party if uh, if a sorry government it 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 has to uh, uh, there no confidence motion is passed against any government your honor then there will be a uh, difficulty uh, in uh, conducting the elections again your honor and then again um, so it is against the parliamentary form of uh, government your honor that is enshrined in our constitution your honor these are the three contentions your honor on the basis of which okay. the council submits that uh, it is against the thank you jaspinder i pass on to mr thank you your honor uh, well jaspinder your father is a farmer yes sir what is the size of his land holding sir 17 acres sir 17 yes sir so he is a big farmer big 17 acres is big farmer small marginal mid, 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 medium uh can be considered as a big farmer okay now so tell me what has been the gain for farmers of punjab from the russia ukraine war so if we talk about the economic gain here uh, uh, first of all the tragedy is uh, it's a sad state of affairs that uh, there is the war in our uh, in the world sir but if we talk about the gain uh, it is with respect to food uh, with food grains uh, they can be exported because they are uh, russia and ukraine they are the uh one of the major suppliers of the uh, wheat yeah. uh, and again of uh, um, uh, what we call the oil seeds as well so punjab can uh, benefit here by exporting their uh, their products okay. so tell me uh, two three schemes of government of india which have been designed to benefit farmers directly yes sir so uh, the first scheme that is uh, pm kisan yojana mm -hmm. under which uh, 6000 rupees are given to the farmer in one year and uh, the second scheme that is uh, uh, pm kusum yojana under which uh, renewable energy or uh, the the solar pumps are subsidies being provided on solar pumps and uh, thirdly sir uh, again msp policy is one of the okay major now honorable prime minister two three days back uh, Um, and mentioned that uh, we must provide quick and accessible justice to people using technology so what uh, he had in mind when he mentioned technology what type of technologies are available yes sir so when we talk about technology first of all e hearing uh, is something that comes e to e my court, mind yes. secondly uh, uh, through e courts access of justice easily can be provided uh, secondly sir uh, odr methods that is online dispute resolution other methods like arbitration mediation and conciliation yeah. they can be done on, through online method and so thirdly digit, uh, digital uh, uh, connects the all the arms of the criminal justice system or the civil justice system for example the orders immediately go to the pr prison prisons or the orders immediately go to the police so that is how we can use the digital technologies no uh, what do you understand by this statement law is not law if it violates the principles of eternal justice principles of internal justice eternal justice eternal justice so justice is very core of uh, uh, of the law sir it, the law has to be there for providing the justice and if the law is not able to serve the justice serve the society justice that is equitable distribution of resources then that law cannot be said to be just and such law is uh, is it can be uh, cannot be said as a like a right, right law constitutional law or a moral law yes sir it must be based upon uh, just services sir okay good just think what is the law of usury it's a law of usury u s u r y uh, sorry sir law of usury i need to check it sir. okay okay good
um now india is aspiring to become a prominent member of the global supply chain post covid okay it it wants to uh, uh, be one of the important members so what action government of india has taken recently towards that direction so yes. that it, it it emerges as a important partner in the global supply chain yes sir so th three things are coming to my mind uh uh, PM Atam Nirbhar Bharat Yojana that all, all the uh, four and five, four or the five uh, yeah, correct, step, correct. those were taken. Good. Then um, production linked incentive scheme. Yeah, PLI, yes. Sir. Yes, sir. And then vaccine diplomacy, vaccine okay. maitri, vaccine maitri, sir, vaccine diplomacy. Mm -hmm. That is again something where we are uh, going to be important providers of the vaccine to the world, sir. Uh, so that is again, uh, we are having important role to play in Gavi. Uh, that is uh, vex vaccine alliance, global vaccine alliance, sir, in the world. Sir. These are okay, okay, good. Now my last question, just been there, sir. Trouble uh, burning, sir. major problem in Punjab, Haryana, Delhi, cause of this annual uh, two three months of pollution. So what action as district collector of the Hinda or uh, maybe Jalandhar district where the trouble burning is rampant? What action will you take? To, to check or to minimize stubble burning? Yes, sir. So coming from a farmer's uh, family, sir, uh, and having this in mind that uh, farmers are not well equipped with the resources, my first uh, priority will be that the custom hiring shops yeah. that are there, mm -hmm. they must provide enough uh, enough machinery to the farmers so that they can use, uh, is use it for uh, not burning rather than uh, uh, diminishing or, demor uh, or decomposing the stubble then and there in the farm. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, it can be provided that recent PUSA decomposer uh, can be provided to the farmers that uh, as uh, uh, in, as Indian uh, okay. Center for uh, Agriculture that has come right. up with Good. that PUSA decomposer. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Good. You have done a law from Punjab University and you are able to express yourself very nicely. Okay. Uh, where do I locate Article 35A of the Constitution? Sir, 35A is uh, A was a presidential order as mm. per Article 370, and mm. it is not found in the uh, normal reading of uh, the barracks of uh, Constitution of India. But mm. yes, sir, it is a presidential order, and it has been added as per Article 370 with the special powers with the president. Sir. My question is, where do I locate this article? as in uh, in the book i purchase a book from the market i want to look at article 35a where do i get this article uh, sir uh, as per my knowledge i, uh, I, I if, if you are asking about the constitution of india where act now uh -huh. in where act where do i locate article 35a of the indian constitution uh, sir, in the direct, uh, directly, we do not find the, uh, as per my limited knowledge, I mm -hmm. was not able to find 35A in the normal barracks. Uh, when I searched it on, on the internet, I was able to get it and it was written as a presidential order. How can you have, you get it in internet, you don't get it in the book, published book? Uh, sir, here, this is not the, uh, mm -hmm. constitution has not been amended in a way that three, uh, as per... Uh, uh, anyway, we cut yes. it short, it's there, it is towards the end. Fine, sir. Sorry, ah, sir. I need to uh, so clarify. Check, up. It. check it. It's not in the serial order. Yes, sir. Article 35A, we feel it should be between Article 35 and Article 36. Yes, sir. It's not there. Yes, sir. It is towards the end of the book. Uh, then you find where presidential orders are there. Then sir. it is there. Fine, sir. Ah. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. But then, of course, now effect of Article 35A is no longer there. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, there is an act called Armed Forces Special Powers Act okay. and lots of uh, NGOs and uh, institutions, even UN bodies have objected to Armed Forces Special Powers Act. What are exactly the grounds on which you can object? Suppose you stand to object on Armed Forces Special Powers Act, pinpoint the exact ground on which you will object. Uh, there are two uh, two things coming to my mind, sir. First mm -hmm. is human on the basis of human rights violation. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, they can object. The act doesn't say that you violate any human right. So the act doesn't say, but but uh, mm -hmm. will 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 uh, hit the act, not the consequences. Like you see, we have a kitchen. Mm -hmm. 
in kitchen i have a knife i use it for vegetable cutting yes sir but cannot blame the knife for uh, some murder which takes place yes sir we are trying to put a blame on knife yes, so sir. here is the act which i wish to blame as a lawyer Fine, which sir. particular area to blame yes sir the uh, special powers that are mm. given to the army mm. and uh, uh, instantly they are they are, they they can use the power to that is uh, as per uh, that without no hearing is given to the person so on that grounds also it can be uh, uh, can be challenged sir mm. uh, again rule of law says that uh, no person shall be punished without the without the provision of law here we have mm. the law but due process of the law says that law must be as per the uh, constitutional provisions mm -hmm. and there when you take the right life of anybody that is article 21 of the indian constitution you mm -hmm. have to follow the procedure of law and that should be due process of the law mm -hmm. so th that that how also it can be challenged so tell me any reason why state governments are not agreeing to supreme court's directive relating to uh, police reforms given in prakash singh's case yes sir so here the state governments they uh, somehow when we look at it then the state uh, it is more of a political uh, they they are not able to do this because they are more politically motivated they want uh, they are uh, uh, trying to control the police services uh, as uh, uh, forming a political party so that this is this becomes one of the major hindrance uh, which doesn't uh, allow the state governments because I mean, political motives political motives is one of the uh, grounds uh, where they are not uh, implementing them. any other ground other than political motives so right now uh, it's not okay. coming to my mind thank sir. you thank you sir jaspinder you are from punjab yes sir a state uh, which has seen many ups and downs sir so tell me three major problems that punjab is facing at the moment Sir. and what according to you are the solutions so the firstly uh, the ground water that is depleting in punjab and uh, because of the water guzzling crops and uh, free electricity sir secondly uh, there is drug menes in punjab uh, that is drug abuse in the youth uh, sir and thirdly uh, what we see is uh, that uh, the brain drain sir that unemployment and brain drain these these are two common uh, contributory issues and uh, the, uh, we can the solutions for these problems first of all when we talk about the deple depleting water sir then we can go for crop diversification rather than when we announce the msp for wheat and paddy we can announce the msp for other crops as well because right now the farmers are stressing on msp so right now that can be the way otherwise we can come up with the uh, horticulture schemes like uh, where extension services and we can we can create model farms as well sir where the profit is given to the farmers on the basis of horticulture sir that that will lead to diversification and secondly sir when it comes to the problem of drug there the supply chain and the uh, demand chain that can be curbed because punjab being a border state uh, there must be well uh, developed technology especially to cater the drone problem through which the drugs are coming these days sir and uh, all, uh, also the youth of punjab they must be reformed in a way those who are into the drug problem they they can rehabilitate we can rehabilitate them consider them as a uh, uh, people who are suffering from mental issue and then treat them and if they are not uh, working on it then some action can be taken and thirdly sir with respect to brain drain we need to make our agriculture and our industry so attractive that our youth do not go uh, to the foreign countries if they go they come back uh, to serve their own state sir here what can be done is that in class 8th 9th and 10th entrepreneurship or risk taking must be taught to the children rather than being just uh, servants in the or uh, in or, or asking for the government jobs they must be the entrepreneurs or the job providers this can start from the class 8th 9th and 10th okay. you just now mentioned about uh, uh, different methods to save electricity why not to stop the subsidy because i think one of the major reasons for water shortage yes sir is uh, free electricity and uh, excessive use of water which is also taking away the top soil yes sir so don't you think uh, subsidy doing away with subsidy can be a good solution 
or any other alternate method to save water? Sir, sir right now, outrightly doing away with the subsidy will uh, cause the problem with respect to farmers and with respect to productivity of crop as well. And uh, yes, subsidy must be rationalized. And when we talk about rationalizing the subsidy, the farmers of certain land holding, they can be given the subsidy rather than the other farmers. And also Punjab has started Paisa Bachao, uh, Pani Bachao Paisa Kamao scheme, in which they are saying that if you do not uh, overuse the water, then you will be given some incentives for that. And when we talk about the electricity at homes, which is being provided freely, but poor uh, people, who are those who are at the lower rung of the society, they can be provided free units of electricity, but not those who are at the upper rung or the middle rung of the society. And their rationalization and cross-subsidization can work, sir. That is how we can save uh, revenue expenditure and as well as provide the social service or social as a welfare state to the, to the people. So, do you think <coughs> agricultural income should be taxed? And what are your reasons for reply? So, taxing agriculture income, uh, uh, it comes with various repercussions. Uh, firstly, agriculture is a risky job, sir. Uh, if one year, my as a farmer, I am going, I am uh, growing uh, potatoes, I am getting good prices. Next year, the price will fall to one rupee or two rupee, and the profit that I earned last year will be able to uh, complete my profit in the next or compensate my profit in the next year. So, taxing this and then again we are saying that this much tax you have to pay. So, how much is the income of a farmer? Who will be checking that? And it, 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 it in implementation also it will be a problem. And also the history says that the farmers were exploited on the basis of taxation. And yes, sir, we can think of rationalizing the tax. Those who give on a lease and they earn uh, the income from the agriculture tax, uh, agriculture income they are earning. So, they can be taxed, uh, keeping in mind that they are the big farmers, rather than taxing a farmer who himself is doing a risky business. Okay. <clears throat> Don't you think artificial intelligence can be used to uh, reduce the pendency of court cases? And in what way it can be used? AI is being used everywhere now in medical side and so what are uses of AI in legal profession yes, sir. and how can it help pendency? Yes sir. So AI can be used in the uh, in the legal pendency, but where the where it is necessary to apply the judicial mind, we cannot give the things to uh, give the onus on the or we can or rely upon the artificial intelligence solely. For example, when we talk about uh, the cases of uh, Accident Claims Tribunal. Yes, sir, uh, few petty cases uh, for the lesser uh, compensation, the cases can be decided by RT uh, or can be taken up by artificial intelligence. Uh, but when it comes to the cases which are having social implications, that must be decided by uh, applying the judicial mind, sir. And uh, also artificial intelligence can help in the listing of the case laws so that the pendency, so that it is not delayed that much. So the very next date, very next available date can be given rather than where, where a judge has to think that which, which, which should be the date. There artificial intelligence can be used. And also sir, in the uh, providing the summons to the uh, to the people or to the, there again we can use drone system or artificial intelligence somehow uh, rather than using our police mechanism which is already uh, lesser in number and more burdened so we can use okay <clears throat> you have said bhangra is your hobby yes sir hmm? so how can bhangra be a word integrator yes sir so today uh, when we see the problem uh, uh, with respect uh, but the first thing how it can be the integrator is uh, that uh, health issues people are facing, pe some people are obese, some people are not able to. So, uh, keeping health in mind, Pangada is a good exercise for them and then all uh, the people all across the globe, keeping health in mind, they can have Bhangra as an activity. Secondly, sir, it is for a mental peace. When you do Bhangra, you forget uh what uh, what is going outside or what is what is what tensions are going in your mind sir so that way also pangada can be taken up by all across the border sir across the globe and it is fun and frolic dancer and uh, th that that's how is carrying smile on your face it is a uh, integrator <laughs> sir, when pangada is one or two quick questions share market saw a quick very steep uh, decline yesterday 
Yes, sir. What were the reasons for the same? Uh, sir, uh, repo rate have been has been increased by the RBI. So that is one of the uh, one of the major reasons. And what are the reasons for uh, uh, erratic movement of share market at times? We have been seeing ever since Ukraine war, it goes up, it comes down. So reasons affecting share market. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, experts say at times uh, share market uh, is a kind of bubble. Sometimes it is said like that. And uh, and uh, the reasons for going for ups and downs can be uh, that India is going to be uh, we can say one of the major block in the supply chain mechanism, uh, which will be a global supply chain mechanism, and that that can be for ups. And when there is a war, then that or when there when there was a pandemic, so our uh, share market was rising like anything sir so that was one of the reason that india will be the hub now of uh, of production or of the activities or a rising economy in india is and when it goes down sir it is again the, that that bubble when some uh, some uh, policy markets become uh, policy rates become uh, accommodative or no, sorry not accommodative things like that they are harming or uh, the corruption cases or ed rates uh, which are right now going on uh, in the companies, they also are the reason with their share share market goes, goes down. Okay, so. last question. <clears throat> Let me ask you is on uh, strategic alliance, AUKUS. What is AUKUS and what is the purpose for which AUKUS was formed? So, so AUKUS, it is the uh, alliance, uh, security alliance basically between Australia, uh, UK and uh, US, sir. Uh, and uh, uh, among these three countries, uh, they, they, they are, this is basically for nuclear, nuclear equipped submarines are to be provided uh, to Australia in the Indo-Pacific. So this is one of the major, uh, uh, major uh, theme of uh, uh, AUKUS uh, to have the security in Indo-Pacific uh, with respect to submarine capabilities. Uh, tell me what is the motto of Supreme Court where judges sit there is a big emblem uh, and below that there is some motto of supreme court written. sir right now i am not able to recall but yes i have read the i am i'm really okay. sorry for that so, so just been there uh, anything which uh, we may have left out which you would like us to ask from you any topic any subject sir punjabi poetry punjabi poetry so tell me you write punjabi poetry or you only <laughs> recite sir, i write Punjabi poetry and even I recite Punjabi poetry. Sir. What is the, the theme of your poetry? So basically I write on the issues uh, of uh, contemporary nature and also I write when I used to anchor on the stages I used to write the couplets for me uh, for my own self as well sir in the university sir. Very nice. So thank you Jaspinder. So, Jaswinder, how do you think you have done today? Oh, so few things I was not able to answer, right? Uh, but otherwise, uh, I was, maybe I was fine. Rest you will be. Yes. So, I will tell, will share our comments, our yes. views. So, Jaswinder, you have a good personality, very pleasing, and uh, you your communication was also excellent, and you had all the confidence. Your body language was good. Uh, you look relaxed, you are well dressed, everything is fine. Now, the panel wants that you should, uh, you know, your content uh, seem to be a little superficial, not very deep. It needs depth. So, now, for instance, when I asked you about this one nation, one election, you did not hit the point. Sir. You got into the federal and parliamentary thing. I asked you from law point of view. Uh, you acted like a lawyer, but you did not mention anything about law. Uh, you see, when you have one nation, one election, you, first thing is that you need constitutional article. You did not mention anything. So, as from a lawyer, I mean LLB, yes, sir. the question basically was asked, keeping that in mind, because on the positive side, there was nothing. Yes, sir, it should happen because, you know, one nation, one election. But you were basically concentrating on federal. Now, what is so federal? State and center are not different. 
as far as elections are concerned yes sir it is not a state election commission it is a election commission of india yes it does all the election right? so what you we expected from you is that you should have mentioned ki sir uh, number 1 it is not possible that it will need constitutional amendments yes sir number 2 what if the the uh, how do we time the having all the elections together one assembly is ending at such and such time the other is assembly now how do we do there is no law in the constitution which guides as to whether we can terminate the the, the period of assembly sir yes so, sir refer to the constitution and to the statute sir instead of giving very general kind of explanation so that is one बाकी that that one was that which honorable chairperson just mentioned about that your one one is so you should have really hit the nail one or two points uh-huh. and you kept on speaking and speaking even for honorable members other questions i think i found you a little longish okay fine sir then your the spin you should avoid spin is not meant it is only when the party we are sir and the ups interview is a very formal interview even without this pin you will look very smart the the confidence level your overall persona is your strong areas sir exactly. that you should use to uh, just blend it with the more contents more in depth analysis of current affairs important issues with regard to your def sir exactly. law like of course as a subject there will so many questions like sir have you asked about the artificial intelligence etc so you should be very to the point and Very specific. Do your law graduate. Yes. We may not expect these things from a uh, non-law student candidate, but from law we we need uh, we we expect that things will be very pithy and very uh, concise. Okay. Yes. Otherwise, uh, good candidate. No no doubt about this. All the best for us. Thank you, sir. This Binder is a very good candidate, and uh, you have been able to bring your arguments well. I'll only supplement one or two arguments. One is that India is a union of states. Yes, sir. So states have a certain primacy. Yes, sir. This is one which has to be emphasized when those arguments were there. Definitely. The second is we cannot sacrifice democracy at the altar of expediency. Yes, sir. Holding elections simultaneously is a matter of expediency. Yes, sir. But democracy is much more important. Yes, sir. A democracy will be ensured only when we have we allow the run of the assemblies to their natural uh, period yes sir and do not total them or kill them at a unnatural uh, time yes sir i mean this is a way to work yes sir it may be correct it may not be correct but this is a way to work okay then uh, as far as the armed forces act is there uh, we can say as a lawyer that it suffers from excessive delegation yes sir unbridled excessive delegation, delegation. Otherwise, you are good, but uh, just uh, one thing which I noticed is that you are slightly uh, on a lecture mode. <laughs> so, I mean, because of various reasons, in the interview, you have to confine yourself to few sentences, sir. So just uh, keep it at the back of your mind. Then uh, your answers will be self-contained. Okay, they will be good. Thank you. You have good personality. Now you have to top uh, top it up with balance of words. So be precise. Don't take too long a uh, time to uh, you know address a question because I had a huge uh, list of questions which I could not ask. So uh, first advice: be precise. Second advice: go into depth of the question. Third is. Uh, Uh, coming to specific artificial intelligence or three problems of punjab think about your own reply you will come across many problems which are bigger than the problems 
that you mentioned. So I think you should know your state well and um, you should know the latest technology and code pendency cases. And then um, agricultural income also, I think your reply was not to the mark. So my advice is share market or couple of points and then uh, in reply to uh, chairman's question, you were using the term your honor so frequently. Not required. Yes, not required. I've given you two minutes. If you took, take one minute in your honor, the purpose is defeated. Okay. So, wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. So, uh, Jaswinder, any questions that you have from us, please. Uh, sir, the one major question that yes, uh, as uh, you all mentioned that I explain things a lot or I take a long time. So this is something like I am trying to curb but uh, any suggestions with respect to this that I can yes. get from the... So one suggestion the honorable member had mentioned to you, I will reiterate. Uh, before you start your answer, don't just start immediately, right? Especially when you are not structured. You know, you may be having so many ideas, an ocean of ideas. Yes, sir. But within a minute, what point to be told, what point not to be told. Otherwise, you know, every time you go ahead, oh, another point, you let me pour this point also. Another point comes in your mind. So, within a minute and a half, you cannot put everything together. So, think about the answer, structure it, all right, I will tell this, this and this. Pause for two, three, four seconds, there is no problem. You don't have to even take permission. Uh, Only when you have to take some extra time, maybe you think that your pause may go up to 10 seconds, then you can take some permission. Otherwise, whenever a question is asked in such kind of conversation, it is not, I quest, raise a question and you immediately answer. Everyone takes time, sir. especially in views, all the views. And in the interview at uh, UPSC, most of the questions will be related to what do you think, what are your views. Uh, they will not be straight general knowledge questions. Even if somebody is asking what is this, what is repo rate, it is not a GK question. If he is asking the main question as the next question, right? if I have to ask repo rate, now suppose the candidate does not even know what repo rate is, what is the sense in asking the whole question of RBI has reduced or decreased the repo rate. So, you don't know, so what do you answer? So, views that you have to give, you can take some time to think that you have to take some time. Second option is that you prepare some answers which are likely to be asked. Yes, sir. Every deaf is unique. We asked you from Punjab. We asked you from law. We asked, I asked you from Moot. Yes, sir. Right. Most of the questions were revolving around law, constitution. So, to a LLB candidate, you can guarantee that, you know, at least 70% of the questions will be related to your subject because it's a very lucrative and very tempting subject for yes, people to ask. And there are many questions available. All right. So, be prepared. So, Beam Code has come out with the, you know, the under trials. Yes, Answer they are Karlo. Supreme Court has said that, you know, he is, they have listed TGI in their speech last week. Yes. You know, sir. all the things that he spoke would be your questions. Yes, sir. Certainly. Prepare the answers. Don't say, oh, see, I will see. Fine, sir. Before you do it, you will speak whatever you have, you know, written. Yes, sir. And write small, small. Fine, sir. This is what we can suggest to you. Anything else? Yes, so, just that we have given you 60% today. Fine, sir. So, you are a 70 percent candidate. So, Fine. this extra 10 percent you have to earn. Fine, sir. And you are capable of earning by these things. Increase the depth of knowledge. Fine, sir. And especially in law. Okay, sir. In Punjab matters also are very important. Because there is a new government. Many things, many actions not related to politics. politics but all the decisions which have been taken. Financial distress, freebies. Border of Punjab with Pakistan, uh, you know, uh, what do you call the, the drones, the smuggling, yes, Urta Punjab, all these things should be framed. Pehle se bana lo. Okay, sir.
all the best to you thank you sir he is of doing business today all papers carry a big and so he is on doing business in punjab fine sir yes, that's the latest topic okay this is all the best all the best check on